we are live okay this is my first screencast video so please bear with me but this is the million mysteries portal as you can see we have the achievement section the games the store support press it even gives you about us notice i'm logged in as my name now the boys and i have been playing this game for quite a little bit we've enjoyed it like all get out we've already achieved a, a digging stick weight the drinking cup Syrian site superstar. Now we're going to go ahead and go to the game portal. Launch game, excuse me. And we're going to pick up where we left off. Now I cheat and I put this big game right on my big screen in my living room because I connected to my computer. That way I can keep up with everything they're doing. I love Man Mysteries because it teaches them history in a very fun way. And they seem to enjoy it as well. We're going to click to play. Notice our current game. Current score is 11,270. Level 2. Achievements earned 1. Artifacts collected 2. And this tells you what our achievements that we want to get, what we need to get. Just like a typical game. Artifacts. Puzzles we've done. Puzzles we need to do. Those kinds of things. There's even clues. Now, I'll show you what I really, really love about this game. Is I can let my boys go to town on this. And I don't have to read a darn thing. See? Okay, I'm going to pause it right here. Notice that this game actually gives you pronunciations of words and breaks it down for you. Great, this great this game is mainly for fifth graders and above, but both of my kids are in first and fourth grade and they seem to really enjoy this game. And because they have the capabilities of listening to the readers read it to them, they get to learn how to read big words that they normally don't get to read. And on top of that, they get to have fun reading in a comic-like form. Okay, we're going to go on now. The only downfall that I really find in this game is the music in the background outweighs sometimes the speakers that are speaking. Other than that, so far, I'm enjoying this game a lot. And you're going to get a small snippet of it to see yourself. Now here's a map that we've already created as part of the series, part of the game, sorry. Now it's going to tell us to click on a location to learn more. When you're ready to go, click travel now. So we're going to travel to all these different areas. Sorry, I had to take a small break because of Ziva. Alright, we're going to go to Belize. 
Karakul is a large Maya capital in South Central Belize that it was the key alley Kalakamu in the Tikala Kamalakamu Wars. Notice I can't pronounce half of these words. As the major center of activity in the area, Karakakul had large markets, a ball court, multiple pyramid temples, and much more. Hence why I like the fact that there's a saying that reads it to them. Now again, boys, remember, you got to pay attention. I ain't think you need to listen to all that right now. This is where it gets fun. We either go on a different adventures. And they teach you different things. Like the Mayan math, the place values, the zero, they counted in 20s instead of 10s. Those kinds of things that are pretty important to learn. Are you ready? ready. Alright, what do our math and Maya math have in common? They use the same numerals. They both have decimal systems. They both have place values. Nothing, they are completely different. What do you think the answer is, Jimmy? Okay. All right, you're close to our goal. Good job. How would you write 13 in Maya numerals? Three bars and two dots. Two bars and three dots. The X with three ones. One bar and three dots. Delbert, go ahead. What do you think the answer is? I'm going the last one, one bar and three dots. What do you think, Jimmy? One bar and three dots. It's actually two bars and three dots. Okay, what number is two dots and one bar? Mm -hmm. And you think it's five. All right, let's see who's right. It was seven. Good job, Delbert. All right, now don't let them catch us. Now look, we're almost caught up. What number was the Maya math system based on? 10, 20, 0, or 1? Jimmy, you act like you know it. What's the answer? 20? All right, good job, y'all.